Welcome to Stunt Stories. I'm Corey Eubanks, and I'm sitting in the backyard with Tom Harper. Tom, thanks for being on the show, buddy. My pleasure, Corey. Now, for those of you who don't know who Tom Harper is, what's your middle name? Because there's two Tom Harpers. Yeah. Thomas Robinson Harper. I'm, I'm that guy. You're that guy. <laughs> You're that guy. Tom... Thomas Robinson Harper. Robinson. Yeah. Well, Not after Dar. No, no. Well... Could have been. <laughs> no. no. No, it was my great-great-grandfather I'm named after. Go to IMDB, Internet Movie Database, check out this man's resume, but before they do, just tell me some of the shows that you've worked on. I mean, because you've been in the business for how long? Long time, you know, since I was a kid. Uh, worked, worked as a young kid, but then as you know, I turned 18, I think the first thing I did was, like, uh, Chet said, Disco Fever. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. It's, uh, everyone should own it. <laughs> But I mean, you've done like the biggest action films ever produced. I mean, you were Waterworld and Lethal Weapons, and yeah, I uh, worked on uh, you know the Lethal Weapons. I uh, worked on Waterworld with R.A. Rondell. Um, worked on uh, Matrix Reloaded, and then as I started coordinating, uh, I got lucky enough to coordinate the, the first two Iron Man movies, uh, Iron Man One and oh, Two. Those were huge. Yeah, and uh, a lot of action on those two yeah, films. Yeah, it, it was good, you know, and uh, I'm pretty proud of of the Iron Man because I, I feel it really put Marvel kind of on the map as their own, as they started as their own studio, you know, so it was, uh, it's a good deal. John Favreau was our director and he's a good friend of mine and a great, great director. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. Now, see, Tom is one of those stuntmen that does it all. It is, and I'm not taking anything away from the kids today, but it seems to be specialists in certain things. And, and you come from the old school where you did motorcycles, and you did horses, you did cars, you did aerial stuff, underwater, fire. You've done it all. That, that's got to be great for now stunt coordinating because you have knowledge about all those different elements. Yeah, and, and, and again, that was taught to me from guys like Ronnie Rondell who, who said your, your worth, your net worth as a stuntman to a stunt coordinator, which as a stunt coordinator, that's how they look at you. You know, what can you do for me on this show? You know, I'll bring you with me. You know, we may be out of town somewhere, but if I can take you and I, I can take you on a show and, it, and I'm going to do motorcycle gags and car gags and fire and water and aerials and... I know that you, as a stuntman, can do those things competently, safely, and get the job done for me. Your stock went way up yeah. with me, and yeah, you're going to come with me and work, and you're going to make money. You've got knowledge about all those different types of stunts. Exactly, and that, that, that's just the way I was taught growing up in this business around uh, the coordinators I was around, you know, and a guy like uh, Gary McClarty. There was a guy that you could put anywhere, you know. Um, the whiz. The whiz, man. I mean, like, an amazing guy. I learned a lot from him. and. Uh, Tom Huff, you know, another great guy. Um, just say, you know, the kind of people that that could do anything and, and didn't really talk about it, just did it, you know, and, and you knew they could do it, you know, and it was funny. Uh, as you grow up in this business and you grow up around stunt coordinators and you get to showcase your talent in not necessarily the workplace, you know, when you're out riding motocross out at the track with them or you're at the beach surfing with them and they see you doing this stuff, that's when they go I didn't know you could do that you could do that <laughs> yeah you know I'm doing a film in two months it's, I need you exactly yeah. you know and it was like I, I tried to learn something about everything I was interested in or something I thought would be you know uh, motocross I grew up doing since I was a little kid that, that second nature to me uh, but you know I learned how to sail boats I learned how to surf I learned how to wind surf uh, Kiteboard. You race sprint cars. I race sprint cars still. Uh, I, I love racing sprint cars. It's my passion, you know. And, uh, never liked drugs, but if I had a drug, man, that would be it. My <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, I mean, it's it's it's. I still race motocross. Uh, race day in the dirt every year. Loved getting out there with the guys and uh, got lucky enough to propose to my beautiful girl. That's right. Congratulations. Thanks. You are now an engaged man. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's you, I tell you what, you, you picked a good one, didn't you? Yeah, Amy DeSaro um, is in the business. She's a makeup artist, and her father, a lot of people would know him from being in the business. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, uh, but Al DeSaro is a special effects man, or was, I should say. Yeah. A great guy. Yeah, one of the best guys in the business. Ever. And it's, it's really interesting where, you know, these days that we're in now, a lot of stunt guys don't look at special effects guys as a teammate to us. Oh, my God. 
They have to. That's what they are. They are. Sometimes our lives yeah. are in their hands. Most of the time. Yeah. You know? and, and the thing is, is, you know, a guy like Al, who I've known since like 18 days, you know, where he, he took the time. If you asked him, hey, what did, you know, why, why are you double wrapping that bomb for that can and, and dipping it in paraffin wax? He would tell you exactly yep. why. And he loved that, that if you took interest in what he was doing. But he was a great guy. He was like, those guys are like our crew chiefs, you know, if you were a NASCAR driver. So, you know what I mean? He truly cared about the stuntmen and stunt women. Oh, yeah. Really did. Absolutely. Hey, just recently you finished probably is going to be one of the biggest feature films that we're going to see in our lifetime. Yeah. Called The Lone Ranger. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Can yeah. you tell us about that? How was that? It was, uh, without a doubt, the hardest movie I've ever done. Wow, that's a statement. Yeah, I've done a few, you know, but <laughs> the thing is, is, and not because of the people I worked with. I mean, the people, the <clears throat> crew on it was second to none the best I've ever worked with. From the grips to effects to everybody that we work with. The director, Gore Verbinski, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. He's done huge, huge movies. All huge box office success. Yeah, and a super smart man that knows what he wants, but he always raises that bar. You know, like, uh, hey, um, you know, you rehearse. <laughs> hey, can we uh, light the whole side of the train on fire? You know, so it's like, we're going to do this in like an hour. No, I got to like, you know, we got to get these horses used to it. And okay, well, great. Take time to do it and do it. You know, and we would do it. But he would always raise the bar. But he know? never compromised the safety. He never. Just... Now, that was a, he always gave me enough time to do what I needed to do. He was very good that way. And I, I, and I love that about him. But he would always raise the bar and one day we were sitting on top of the train he said man i'm really sorry if i'm you know like keep throwing these things at you you know and i go don't stop and he goes what do you mean i go don't stop because you're just raising my bar you're making yeah. me better you thrive off that oh, don't i love it it's because you're a competitor yeah. yeah you know i mean it's like when they say you can't do it i'll figure out yeah you do it you know <laughs> just like you, man. Yeah. you know? i mean you know the deal it's like can't do it huh yeah well, let, let me show you how out. wrong you are yeah exactly yeah. you know so yeah, it's, uh, I'm real proud of this, this bit of work. I, it's the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's the most proud of I am. Now, in this film, I think a lot of us know that Johnny Depp uh, was one of the actors. Who was the other actor in the film? Uh, Army Hammer was the Lone Ranger. Johnny Depp plays Tonto. And um, the way the story is told is just super cool. I can't say a lot about it because it's not out yet. Yeah. So. I'm sworn to secrecy, you know. How were those two actors to work with? Did they do a lot of their own stunts, or who were their stunt doubles? Uh, the stunt double for Army uh, was uh, Jeremy Fitzgerald, and uh, the stunt double for uh, Tonto and uh, Johnny Depp was uh, Todd Warren. Both top-notch. I was going to say, those are two top, very talented stuntmen. I can do any. You, it's the, again, that goes back to those are two guys that I knew I could put them anywhere. And as a stunt coordinator, knowing I had them as as guys on my job, it, it gives me a, a, a certain level of calm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 These guys know what they're doing. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like I bring you in to do car stuff, you know, which or anything. I mean, you're an all-around. That's the thing that kills me about you. Everyone thinks, oh, you're just a car guy. You're an all-around stunt guy, Corey. <laughs> you know? I've, I've done a few other things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I mean, in a level of of calmness as a stunt coordinator, it helps you to know you have a guy that can handle what you know you're going to be throwing at. So those are the, the two guys and uh, a lot of other, I had over 300 stunt people on that show. Wow. Yeah. That's and a big, that's a lot of guys. It, different guys. Different guys. And, and stunt women or just all and stunt women. guys? No, men and women. Wow. And a lot of Indians that came out of Montana, Blackfeet uh, Indians that were, these guys were amazing on horseback. How was it working with Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp is a class act, man. What a neat guy. Uh, never had worked with him before, so I was, you know, there was a bit of a learning curve and didn't know quite how much he liked to do. Uh, but he's really a neat guy in the fact that he uh, knows what he wants to do and what he doesn't. Yeah, you know? knows his limitations. Uh, yeah, hey, you'll see in the trailer, there's a, a bit of him hanging underneath the train. Well, it's not him because he said, oh, I'm not doing that, you know, 40 miles an hour. Under, <laughs> Forget it. Yeah, you know. Get my stunt double to yeah. do it, but I'm risk his neck. Yeah, he's like, you know, <laughs> that Todd will be doing that. Yeah. I'm like, great, because I didn't plan on you doing it, you know. So he's great that way. Army Hammer, on the other hand, wants to do everything. So you got to kind of rein him back a little bit. Rein him back yeah. a little bit, but I let him do a lot because he's a very talented guy. You know, like I started feeding him some stuff, and I was like, wow, he... He can do that. Yeah. You were telling me that he would ride his motorcycle to the set every day? Yeah, Army had a, uh, has a 450 motocross bike, that, like the ones we race. 
And we're in Albuquerque, down New Mexico, and he shows up with this thing one day. I go, whose bike is that? He goes, ah, that's mine. I just bought it. I go, you know how to ride? And he goes, oh, yeah, man. I'm like, cool. Next thing you know, man, he's wheeling off down the road. And I'm like, <laughs> the producers are like, no, Yeah, no. so, you know, I called Troy Lee and said, hey, uh, can I get a helmet and full gear? And yeah. So, they sponsor me, and they're, they're great people. And so they send me all the safety gear for them, and, and we, uh, we hooked them up with this year. You told me that when you were on location with these guys that they signed something for you. What was that that they signed that you said you are going to put in your yeah, office? Yeah, I didn't want to tell you everything, but uh, the reason I didn't tell you everything is because I want to give it to you. And the reason I want to give it to you is because I want you to auction it off like you do on your shows. For the Taurus Foundation. To help the Taurus Foundation, because I think it's the greatest thing that you're doing. Oh, well, thank you. You know, having broken my back three times and been laid up and things like that. Yeah, and the bills keep and coming, but you can't rolling. work. Yeah. You know that feeling. I do, and uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I just love that, that you're doing that, and I wanted to help out with it. And uh, I thought, you know, what better way? I got a, I got a drawing that was done by this guy who owns the Stuntman Hall of Fame and when we were in Moab, Utah working. Is that where it's located? That's where it's located. Because I thought it used to be out in, in, it used to be in, in Mojave. Mojave. Yeah, and now he moved to Moab and he took everything to Moab. And it's a, if you're ever there, you gotta go check it out. It's super, super neat. There's a bunch of old stuff, like old drag vests in there. And oh like man, things, like really cool old stuff. You know? Maybe one of these days I could do my show there. You should. That would be cool, That'd huh? That would be great, man. And uh, the guy's name is, uh, John Hagner and he, he was the artist he's the artist who drew this for me and uh, I had it signed by Johnny and Army and you did personally you I, had them sign it I had them sign it so you you could verify the authenticity of it yeah. and I want to give it to you uh, oh my god this is it right there man that is beautiful yeah look at that which camera I'll show it to this camera here oh my god and that, who, now, whose signature is whose? Now, this is Johnny. You did it right above him. That's his signature. And this is Army Hammer. And uh, this down here is John Hagner. He, he's the one who, who drew that. Wow, that is beautiful, yeah. man. Yeah. And you're giving this to me so I can auction this off to the Taurus Foundation. Yeah. yeah. Tom Harper, buddy, thank you, man. My pleasure. And, uh, you know, I, I thought it would be great on my wall, but I think it would be better to give back. Everybody, well, everybody. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Hey, we make me one. Give me one other thing. Sure. A promise. Anything. That you'll do my show again. Anytime you want. I All love right. what you're doing with it, buddy. Thank you so much, All everybody. Right. Tom Harper. Check him out on IMDb. Thanks for watching Stunt Stories. A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. The Lone Ranger. Hyo Silver. Away!